Okay, so I am going to uh, provide a general overview as like the final keynote on where we are and where we are heading. Uh, I think you must have enjoyed the three days of the buzz and the buzz was really around security, reaggregation, and the next big thing, right? So I want to make sure that I, I kind of summarize everything that we have said or introduce concepts on what is happening in security. Um, you know, there was, there was quite a number of panels and discussions that basically said, hey, security is important in open source and there's research going on in <clears throat> Linux Foundation that says, you know, and download this research, please. 98% uh, use open source, 95% is concerned about security and, nine, and only half of them use what is called SBOMs or software build of materials. So we still have to have some work to do. And then on top of that, um, Harvard came out with a survey along with Linux Foundation and OpenSSF that said uh, security is not just like a point product or just vulnerabilities. It's the entire life cycle, including packaging and integration. And also top projects in any domain are critical. So what Linux Foundation said was, hey, let's go around and do a six action plan, if you may, for all of the projects, right? And that would be in secure the most critical components, automate the tooling, um, get training to people who are not familiar with it, secure open source factories or sort of the build and packaging, and enable and track SBOMs, right? Or, uh, and, and so give, give a dashboard of how things are progressing. So, the, so I'm pleased to report that networking and edge communities, specifically LF Edge, LFN, are leading the charter here to be the most secure projects across all of LF. And you can see this from the dashboard um, that tracks each and every project uh, on, on their scorecards, right? And, and I think it's very important for people to understand, participate and contribute towards security. To that end, we issued a white paper, please download it from the LF networking website. Uh, that is on security and join groups, task forces, security committees as, as this becomes the most important thing in 2022. Okay, so that was kind of one big topic. The second big topic that we have heard again and again, including the latest panel today, is how do I bring things together? <clears throat> and, and, and we all know dis disaggregation, right? Control plane from data plane, software from hardware. But now you're re-aggregating a whole different set of things. You're re-aggregating the community, organizations, and projects. So let me talk about the community first. When you bring communities together, you see contributions growing. This is just an example of a few projects that have seen significant growth in the past three to 10 years. And I won't go into this. This is all available on the tool. We've also seen open source foundation standards and alliances make huge, huge uh, re-aggregation in terms of re-collaboration, right? And you heard from GSMA and NGMN today uh, on how quickly we were able to turn things around and, and launch projects like Kamara. So collaboration has significantly increased. Um, projects, end-to-end -end projects building uh, 5G, uh, it's, it's called LFN 5G bl Super Blueprints. This is a framework where Projects within LF, outside LF, doesn't matter. If they're important for a use case, they can, you can come in, contribute, lead task force to integrate. It will be available for downloads, right? So you've seen a whole bunch of integration happening across these projects. So please participate on that. To that extent, we made some major announcements um, on, on the blueprints, on new members, on projects. Um, and let me also highlight some of the other announcements that were made. Uh, you might have missed day one, uh, but Google announced uh, with Linux Foundation a new project called Nephew. And Nephew was, is essentially aimed at simplifying the net cloud native automation of, of telecom network functions. So it's kind of extending sort of the Kubernetes and the CRD land. Uh, a whole ecosystem of participants. Uh, it's, it's, again, feel free to join the project or get more information on the website, nefeo.org. Um, 
And today they've announced Sonic is kind of moving to Linux Foundation. Um, and I think Microsoft, uh, we really appreciate and thank Microsoft for the contribution. Uh, we're also going to work very closely with uh, OCP on the size specifications so as, as they have outlined a great hardware software co-design strategy. So again, a lot of things we covered in the, in the past three days. And I'm just going to leave you with you know, the three next three big things. Before we get to the next things, right? We have to recognize and appreciate where we came from. So in just one year, we were talking cloud native, we were talking 5G, we were talking edge. Well, guess what? Things have moved. People have deployed, people have, have taken that uh, very seriously. Whether it's North America, whether it's APAC, and here in EMEA also, right? As, as you saw, Deutsche Telekom, uh, ORAN, just moved into deployment just less than a year, right? And this is the power of open source and open testing and open interfaces where projects come together. Orange announced its deployment, right, et cetera. And so what is missing and what are we talking about? We're talking about the Gnosis and starting to align that across the globe ecosystem. And we still have work to do on the ORAN side. So we're not done yet, uh, but the rest of the pieces are falling quite well in place. And then finally, 6G has started to pop up, whether it's for use cases, whether it's for data rates, latency, uh, early work going on. So I won't dwell too much into it, but definitely something to keep an eye on for kind of the next three years. Um, and then on the enterprise and edge side, digital transformation is happening, but we are seeing a great correlation between edge computing verticals and digital transformation verticals, right? So on the left-hand side, which you may not be able to read, you've got sectors, ICT, finance, manufacturing, oil and gas. Green means they are doing it, they are ready, they are ahead of the curve. Red means they are slow. This is a McKinsey study, by the way. Um, so on the lower, lower part, it's you know agriculture, construction, healthcare, et cetera. And there's a definite correlation between uh, digital transformation and edge compute that we are really excited about. So, you know, it aligns completely with how we have been tracking the market in terms of edge compute and blueprints are supporting that. So that's kind of my five minute overview of what we have been through. Uh, please participate in the communities. There's a new LFN website with all the information, including security white uh, paper, as well as there's a new study on cloud native um, automation by Analysis Mason available for download. And then a quick shout out to a few webinars coming up on, on NASA's. The developer and testing forum is coming up in person in Portugal. So please book your slot and time. And then in person, North America Open Networking and Edge Summit in Seattle, um, November 15th, 16th. Please block your dates and the week there. And the last one, I'm going to pause here, scan this with your phones to provide us feedback. And, and your feedback is very important because that's how we improve. That's how we, um, we get to the next phase. And I'm, I'm also pleased to report this, this conference has seen a significant growth year over year, right? So we're, we, are re we really appreciate your, your participation and your questions. Um, people have always preferred live versus pre-recorded. They like the ability to interact with people and the content is non-fluffy, just straight to the point. So appreciate that. Provide us feedback. And as, as usual, I think um, the website is always there. So with that said, I am going to call it a close. It's a couple of minutes after. Uh, we are very strict on time. So I want to leave you with uh, thank you, a big thank you.